Hello everyone, welcome to the new video series. In this video series, I am going to talk about how to communicate with your solar inverter. There are many ways you can use your personal computer, you can use Raspberry Pi or Orange Pi. But in this specific uh, video series, I, uh, the microcontroller I'm going to use is Arduino. That is cheap and commonly available and easy to program. So the uh, video series uh, which I have uh, I have all uh, planned so far is uh, the, this one. This is the introductory, and then uh, it will be followed by video on Arduino tips, and then uh, RS two three two communication for non technical people. Because I face lot of problems because I am not an engineer. So I'm going to share my uh, success and failures and how to communicate with your RS232 and then how to do the wiring uh, with Uno and Mega. And then uh, I will talk about a bit about ESP, uh, ESP32 or 8266. And then we are also going to talk about uh, something about the Arduino code and how to do the CRC calculations. So. Um, it all started when uh, I was uh, uh, trying to convert my manual telescope to GoTo and uh, there was an on-step solution based on Arduino and I ordered my uh, stuff from AliExpress and there was some time and uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, when the, there were three, four weeks before the hardware arrived and I start learning about Arduino. And uh, from that, I got the idea that I can use my Arduino to control my inverter. Uh, now the problems I was facing was that I cannot uh, uh, control my inverter, uh, how to supply power to different areas of the house. So if there is no solar um, uh, and then there is uh, or there is no grid power, uh, I want to supply a solar power to specific rooms, not all the house. So how to control it? Uh, I was also facing some issues with the timer uh, of the VM3 I'm using. Um, uh, you know, at night at 0 hundred hours, my inverter automatically tried to convert to SPU, the solar settings. So, and it was uh, very annoying. In the middle of the night, I was started hearing beeps. Uh, so the timer control was not good in that. And then um, I want my air conditioning uh, to automatically turn on and off uh, depending upon the daylight conditions and the temperature conditions. So uh, this is still pending with me, but I am uh, uh, through a lot of stuff. So uh, th this will continue. Uh, this is still to implement. And uh, specifically, I need to have a better dashboard. I will show to you the pictures of the dashboards I have developed. Uh, so this was the introduction why I wanted to convert, uh, to, why I wanted to talk to my inverter. So. Uh, I want to uh, give credit to Paul for the Arduino tutorials on the uh, YouTube. Uh, um, uh, Nadeem Hassan's Watch Power project on GitHub also helped me out. Then there was an Australian forum, AEVA, and uh, there are a lot of stuff on the inverter communication. And uh, then the help from the res resilient buddy. Uh, uh, and he helped me uh, that I should, uh, I will be needing a MX MX3232 module and uh, how to use Ultima's uh, serial port monitor for capturing the communication between the PC and uh, inverter and he, uh, how to do the CRC uh, uh, calculation. So it, it, uh, his, his uh, mail also helped me a lot. And then there was an uh, expert control uh, uh, project on GitHub. And then there the, it was the crccalc.com, which helped me out in uh, finding out the, which is the correct CRC calculation. So I will be sharing uh, uh, most, of, most of the stuff, the success story uh, on, in this video series. So, so it's showtime. So let me uh, show you some pictures. Uh, 
of my project so far. All right, so this is the condition of my distribution box right now. Uh, you can see some uh, uh, a timer in the background uh, and there is a relay uh, and then uh, there are a few uh, controllers for over and under uh, power. Uh, this is uh, all work in progress. So this is all messed up. So uh, I'll be replacing the, I will be adding few things and I'm replacing with few relays controlled by Arduino. So uh, this is ongoing project. So this is the uh, standard uh, dashboard of my inverter. This is the screen. Uh, there is a lot of stuff, but the problem with is that uh, uh, I know there is a, a output of uh, 231 volts, but I want to know the output in amperes or the watts. So I can see the load bar. It's a graphical presentation, but uh, I am a number man. I want to see the number. So, uh, so th this is the limitation. So that's why this is one reason why I have to move to my own dashboard. So let me give you a view of my dashboard so this is the dashboard which have certain parameters which i, I can set and uh, i can set request to the uh, server and to the inverter and uh, let me show you yeah so you can see uh, there's a power 86 watts and then there is a solar and 609 is the home total voltage usage this is based on the esp web server so i can access this from my uh, phone i can access this from my um, pc uh, anywhere and i can uh, send commands i can change parameters uh, because this is uh, this can be opened in my uh, uh, browser internet browser it can be chrome it can be standard any other browser and it kept, keeps on updating the numbers and uh, you can see this is uh, the greens are the enabled and red are the not enabled and I am uh, send request to my inverter I can change uh, the output priority it can be solar it can be uh, grid it can be anything so everything can be controlled from this web page uh, this is the um, dashboard I have created this is 16 by 4 LCD um, I have used with Arduino um, uh, it is right now showing the uh, grid voltage and solar voltages uh, and the total load on uh, the inverter and uh, voltage produced by solar and uh, what is the status of battery so these are the numbers uh, I have an accountant so I love numbers <laughs> so instead of the graphical presentation I'm more comfortable with the numbers and definitely I can choose these numbers to further automate uh, usage of power from the inverter uh, this is the mx3232 module and as you can see the red light flashes when there is a transmission when there is a request to the inverter and the green the receiving led flashes when there is a reply from the inverter so um, so that's it so stay tuned for my next videos i will take you to how to how to do this project uh, step by step and uh, if you have any specific request uh, do leave the comment but uh, do remember i am not an engineer i am just a hobbyist so i may my answers will be limited but uh, i can share my experience with you